Hi everyone, I'm Lawrence and in this video I'm going to talk about all MLB games on the Wii. MLB Power Pros is the ultimate baseball game on the Wii. A masterpiece you have to try out for yourself. Even if you're not into baseball games, you have to try out this game. It nails the baseball mechanics and has content that finally goes beyond baseball. In the game there is a success mode. You start the game as a first year college student with a tremendous passion for baseball, but before you become a starter for a team, you'll have to go through the life of a student struggling with life. That means making friends, going on dates, getting a part-time job, studying and getting those precious hours of baseball practicing. And you only have a certain amount of stamina to use each day. And while you're trying to get in as many hours of practice, there's always some hurdles coming up, like an exam or lack of money. The game also has attention to detail. When it was ported in the US, all player names and avatars have been changed to match American players. And not only this, but each American player has accurate stats. So if you play the Japanese version, you are going to have Japanese players. And if you are playing the US version, you are going to have US players. How cool is that? The controls are easy to pick up, yet have depth and precision. And it's nice that they didn't integrate motion controls into the main gameplay. I know, sounds counterintuitive, since the Wii's selling point are the motion controls. But there are so many bad Wii games out there that have motion controls just for the sake of motion controls. Here, the controls are button oriented, but are really nicely done. You can play the game with Wiimote and Nunchuck, or you can play the game even with a controller. The game also has a Wii mode, where you can use Miis as players and use motion controls like in Wii Sports, instead of the controls used in the rest of the game. And I'm super impressed. The controls in this mode are as good as Wii Sports. This shows how much care the game has. The controls are spot on, whether you play with Wiimote and Nunchuck, with a controller or with motion mechanics. Visually, the game has a lot of detail, from the players to the stadiums, everything has tiny details and makes the game even more amazing. The game also delivers in game modes, you get exhibition, success, season, arranged team where you can edit teams as you like, home run derby and Wii mode. Overall, the game is a masterpiece. Its attention to detail is remarkable and it's one of the deepest baseball games on the Wii. And not only on the Wii, it's the best baseball game I've played on all consoles. And I reviewed a whole lot of baseball games on all sorts of different consoles. None had this caliber. The music, the atmosphere, the tiny details, the fun you have in the game are experiences I will never forget. Even if you don't like baseball games, give this one a chance. Do yourself a favor and play this game. It's the best baseball game I've played. MLB Power Pros 2008 is another masterpiece that adds more on the formula of the previous game and kinda goes a little overboard in my opinion. The game has the same structure, success mode still has the same premise, but this time the season mode is combined with a manager mode. Season mode now has a plot that you're the manager of a team and train players to transfers, take care of the budget. Some might find it too much to have to do all of this stuff before entering matches. But for those who want an immersive experience, this game provides more content than the other game. And another new mode includes the MLB Life, where again you get a story. You're now an established superstar and have to manage your life. You buy houses, watch over your public image, donate to charity. In my opinion, it goes overboard with how much story you get in the game. I mean, more of this and you can call it Sims Baseball or something. The gameplay is still solid and amazing and has again the same amount of attention to detail, but now that you have three lives to manage before entering a match, it's a little too much in my opinion. But again, for those who love immersive experiences, this game will be much better than the previous one, because it offers more content. Gameplay wise, it's as amazing as the other one. Major League Baseball 2K8 is enjoyable, but rough around the edges. The game has motion controls that work like in Wii Sports, but the major problem is that they are clunky. Pitching is ok, you have to fling your wrist and you're good to go, but batting feels random. 
you get no visual cues to discern where an incoming ball might land, hitting is more of an event of luck than skill. Also the graphics look like a PS2 game. The Wii is way more capable than this, so and as game modes you get Season, Franchise and Home Run Derby. Fans of the time were angry because the game doesn't have any online functionality. MLB Superstars is not a baseball game, it's just baseball themed. It's a compilation of 6 minigames. You get to shoot the spectators in a stadium and play baseball golf and boxy with baseballs, play Tetris like this and the game isn't even fun to play. Hence the reviewer scores. The game is functional but still is an abuse of the MLB license. Major League Baseball 2K9 introduces trading cards and now the betting controls are more precise and tougher to pick up. In the previous one they felt like a game of luck but it was still easy to score. Here they're more precise but it's also harder to score. Unfortunately aside of this the game is a disappointment. It still has no multiplayer, it still looks like a PS2 game and above all the game has frame rate issues. The game is still solid but it's a step down. MLB 2K10 is a cash grab. It doesn't even try to improve what was wrong in the previous games. The game is slow, ugly, the frame rate chugs, it didn't introduce the My Player game mode, instead it's a copy paste of the previous games, but with an updated roster. MLB 2K11 is another cash grab. It doesn't fix the issues from the previous games, the only new addition in the game is the arcade mode. But you can imagine how fun that is when the frame rate chugs and the game looks like a potato. Many times you can't hit the ball right because of the frame rate. Nicktoons MLB looks amazing, but the content and the controls make it shallow underneath the great visuals. You get only 20 Nicktoons characters, which sounds like a lot, but when you see how inconsistently they were picked, you get sad. At least it's nice that each character is nicely represented, has unique animations and dialogues, but still I expected more. Also aside of Nicktoon characters, there are MLB players. Now the controls. They are kinda complicated. You have to point in the square, watch a gouge and swing the remote. It's a little too much for a kids game. And it's ironic that MLB 2K, a simulation game, had simple controls. Whereas an arcade game made after cartoon characters and was designed for kids has complex controls. It's uh, kinda ironic. At least there are 12 nicely detailed stadiums in the game. And the game modes are the ones seen in other baseball Wii games. Overall the game looks amazing but the content is inconsistent. And that bothers me. But overall the fun factor in the game is ok. And MLB 2K12 is a disaster. The game has the same problems as the whole series did. Moreover, not even the roster is updated. It's a shameful cash grab. It's a choppy mess with dated graphics and a dated roster.